So in this problem, we have to find the two values of k for which these simultaneous equations do not have a unique solution. And for each of those values of k, we need to say how many solutions there would actually be in each of those cases. So if we were going about this um, as we have in the previous two videos, we would first of all write down uh, the matrix of the coefficients, so 5 k k 20, and that'd be multiplying with x, y, and that would be getting me 4, 8. Now, if there's not to be a unique solution, that would mean that this matrix has to be singular. So that means that the determinant would have to be 0. So no unique solution, actually, let's not put the arrow there, uh, implies that the determinant of this matrix is 0. So therefore, 5 times 20 take away k times k must be 0. So 100 take k squared is 0. So k would have to be plus or minus 10. So we found the two values of k that would make these equations not have a unique solution. So if k equals 10, then the two equations that I would have are 5x plus 10y is equal to 4. And this equation is 10x plus 20y is equal to 8. Now, if we call the equations equation 1 and equation 2, if I were to multiply equation 1 by 2, I would get 10x plus 20y is equal to 8. So actually, this would be identical to that. So that must mean that these two equations actually represent the same line. So we have the same line, which implies that there are, there are an infinite number of solutions. Because one line is overlapping the other completely. Okay, so they are true and they both work for every single value of x and y on that line. So we've got that situation. If k is equal to negative 10, then what do we have? We'd have 5x take away 10y is equal to 4. And uh, we've got minus 10x plus 20y is equal to 8. So that's my equation 1, that's my equation 2. Now you'll notice that actually they are still linked. I could multiply equation 1 through by negative 2 this time, and I'd get minus 10x plus 20y. So those bits are the same, but I would get negative 8 on the right-hand side. So these aren't the same line, but they are parallel. So the lines are parallel. If they're parallel, they don't intersect. And so there are there is no solution. So in this situation, we had an infinite number of solutions. In this situation, we've got no solution whatsoever. So in the first example, you've got the line and the second line overlapping one another. Didn't do that very well. OK, so they're overlapping one another. In the second situation, you've got the two lines being parallel and never meeting. OK, so that is how we can solve this problem.